And hey guys, welcome back to the channel. A little shaky. Um, I'm in the middle of doing a brake job on my 98Z28. And I'm filming it all to do an install of our brackets and things. But while it's in this position, I just want to make a really quick video explaining our C5 rotor bracket kit upgrade, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, you get two of these, raw metal. And this bracket simply bolts on to the back side of your hub using our bolts and gives you a new spot to put your calipers on. Um, so since I have this one kind of like in halfway different stages, I'm going to flip the camera around and use that as an opportunity to kind of explain it to you. So here's the completely stock 1998 to 2002 LS1F body brake setup. Now the idea and the principle behind our kit is basic physics. If you were trying to change lug nuts and you had a small wrench, you couldn't break it free, but you put a breaker bar on it, now less pressure breaks that nut free pretty easily. It's similar with this. This rotating mass, if you try to stop it here, it's much harder than when you try to stop it here, which is harder than if you try to stop it here. So the Corvette comes with slightly larger rotors. Their calipers place further out for that. Um, what our kit does is this bracket bolts on and simply allows this caliper to be dropped down a little from where it is, but extended out to use the Corvette rotor. So let me take you to the other side of the car and show you what that looks like. So on this side of the car, we have the C5 rotor ready to go on. It's a little bit bigger. Um, and here we have the same setup you saw with the same bolts of where your caliper would be right there and right there. But this bracket is mounted already. So these four bolts from the back, let me try to get in there a little better for you. Okay, you can kind of see back here now that you simply unplug your ABS sensor, pull the four bolts out, slide our bracket on, put our four bolts on, and now this bracket is extending off towards the back of the car on this side. Over here, instead of mounting your caliper here and here, your points are now here and here. So you'll see that we have these spacers um, this brings it back out, you know, this is obviously not tight. Um, it brings it back out to the same plane that your caliper is supposed to be on. And down here, this is where normally you would have to cut this off for other kits. But our kits, we simply machine spacers for you. So it slides right in. You can completely unbolt our brackets and turn your car back to stock if you wanted to without having to, like, deal with a big cut spindle. And that's all there really is to it. Um, so in this case, I would simply take this rotor and slider on here, um, take my stock LS1 caliper. You do not have to have the Corvette C5 caliper. It's just literally a stock LS1 caliper um, that's now gonna bolt into these spots and be further out so that you can use this rotor. And here's what it looks like completely assembled. Um, I just lost my hat, but um, you know, this is loose. I haven't totally tightened my caliper bolts yet but you can just see the difference. Uh, let me walk you over. Again, this is what factory looks like. It gets super windy here too. Um, you know, that little guy does the job, but clearly this one looks better. Um, it also really, really performs better. So you're changing your brakes, you need to change them out anyway. For the same cost you pay for your rotors, you can get C5 rotors. And with these brackets, now you have like, fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars worth of a braking if you were to just buy a brake kit um, you know for a set of brack for the price of a set of brackets one thing I want to say back here um, this bolt it's kind of hard to get in here with my wrench maybe you got a better wrench but if anyone else is dealing with this all you have to do is turn your car on turn your wheel and this whole angle will change and you can get in there easier um, that's the only little thing that I could think of to share with you to make this job a little easier uh, get in over here see if there's anything you want to see uh, like I said my I haven't tightened anything down yet I just want to give you guys the visual and that's it that's what she looks like all installed all right guys well that's it for today's video um, hopefully that helps you understand not just how to install our brackets but the actual uh, physics behind them and how they work so once again you're gonna get two of these guys um, they're identical you just flip the side obviously and then that was loud uh, you're gonna get four of these little bolts um, I don't know the size off the top of my head but you're gonna need um, a hex tool to install these 
four of these to bolt on to where the back of the hub is. Then of course you have two big ones. These replace your caliper bolts. And then finally have, I just dropped those, uh, your two spacers. This one's notched, this one's not. So you get double all that because you get one per side. Um, so that's it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It's shorter, a little less long-winded. Just want to show you my cool teal Camaros in the background right now. Um, I have a longer video that I'm in the process of making that fully explains how to change brakes if you don't know how to use the compression tool, if you don't even know like the little warning tabs on brake pads, if you know nothing, um, that's a much longer video and that should help anybody who grew up like me with nobody showing them what to do. Um, hopefully now I can help show you what to do. But uh, that's our brackets in a nutshell. You can change them out pretty quickly and the stopping power is amazingly different. Uh, if you add stainless lines, get rid of those rubber lines, um, then you get an even better braking. Because the rubber lines expand and don't allow all the pressure to get to the caliper. The stainless lines get all the pressure to the caliper. So I think he, uh, I don't know what I'm saying here. <laughs> Um, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I'll try to make some more of them. Um, have a great day.